Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com. We'll press on the code and see what we can make in 5 minutes. So we'll copy that. That copies the template. We'll move on over to Adam. Uh, any editor will do. And we'll get rid of the stuff that's in the template already, But where it says put your code here. We keep the stage.update. Now we've been making some game type things. Let's move towards something uh, maybe with components, something uh, for kind of like an information site type thing and see what we can make in five minutes. We will start the counter. Okay, so <clears throat> how about a list? New list. And in that list, we can specify a variety of things. Now, the first parameter is the width and height. Um, well, I don't know, 150 by, how about 200 by 300? Or we could have just kept the default 200 by 300. And then in here, we will put in a bunch of shapes. <clears throat> Triangle, um, rectangle, you may recognize these soon. Uh, <laughs> The <laughs> diamond. <laughs> I know it's gonna happen. Diamond. <laughs> um, how about what's what? What comes next in those things? A pentagon. A pentagon. We know the pentagon. The capital P. Capital pentagon. And the uh, if the pentagon got ruined, it kind of did get ruined a little bit. But we might uh, rebuild it with a hexagon. That's a snowflake kind of shape. I like hexagons. They're nice. And a heptagon. Heptagon. I remember launching Zim Hep. It was kind of cool because Hep's a cool word. Hep cat. Heptagon and octagon is one of the more famous ones. I'm not sure why. Octagon. Uh, like so. We will then dot center this on the stage and we'll dot move it over a little bit. So minus you know, 300. Uh, and when we tap on it, a tap is a good thing for a list, so that allows us to scroll it up and down, but tap, we'll call this arrow function right here. We collect the event object in those brackets, or indeed if we only have one thing we're collecting, we don't need the brackets. So that's the event object that will tell us something like which one did we tap on, which is handy. So we'll make inside here, we'll make a new blob. And that blob, we can say the points of that blob will be the index of what we've tapped on. So e.target is what we've tapped on, dot selected index. Um, but that starts at zero, and then we want to get to a triangle, so we'll plus three. So if it's zero, it's a triangle, that'll be plus three, and that way we get a bunch of blobs. We'll dot center that and dot move that over a little bit as well. I don't know, 200. Let's see what, what it looks like at the moment then for our new list that we're tapping on. So we open in browser, open in browser. And there's our list. And we hit Pentagon. That doesn't look like a pentagon. <laughs> ah, I see what it is. Four, four things. A diamond has four things. Okay. So our blob, we don't want the curves. Uh, automatically, we get a bunch of points with curves. But if we say control type colon quote none, then it won't um, it won't make those curves for us. That will be uh, like points. Why don't we put a border width? <laughs> of um, I don't know, something like five on there and let's get a border. I think that will give it, that might give it a border without a fill. Uh, we can keep the fill. Well, uh, let's see what's happening. We refresh here. We hit diamond. There's a diamond. Triangle. Pentagon. Uh, we, we sort of need to remove what we had uh, had before. So Hmm, we could store this in a variable, but put the variable outside so we have a reference to it across different clicks. Uh, var shape, and then say shape is equal to a new blob, but each time, if there's a shape already, if there's a shape, we will shape dot remove from. I don't think we need a stage dot update, but maybe we do. Stage dot update blob probably in its creation will update, but uh, there we go. 
let's check it out. And do we want a color? Color colon green comma. And uh, let's see. Uh, refresh. A diamond, a triangle, a hexagon, a heptagon. Not bad. It's a little small. <laughs> Dot ska two. And let's stop that timer. Pause. Okay. How does it look? <laughs> Hopefully it's okay. A diamond. Good. A triangle. Yes. And we could have made it interactive false if we wanted it just to show up like that without anything. Isn't that neat? We could have also said that the view num on this is uh, six, and that way we don't have a scroll down to the octagon. There's the octagon. Nice. And ladies and gentlemen, bum bum bum, drop that down. This is what we can code in five minutes with Zim. We made just a little app there with a list, and we uh, clicked on the list and made these shapes over at the right. Isn't that cool? Coding in five minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. If you're digging this, then make sure you come and join us at zimjs.com slash slack. That's a forum where we're all giving each other examples and help and all that kind of stuff. You can ask any questions you want there. Let others know about Zim too. We might have some budding creative coders. Ciao.